Bonjour and welcome to the city I call home, Paris. While Paris is indeed beautiful, it's no different from most cities in the world such as London, Rome, New York and Barcelona where pickpocketing is endemic. Pickpockets in Paris target tourists, so while you're busy soaking in the charms of this incredible city, it's important you are aware of all the tricks they use to steal from you, so you can stay vigilant. On this episode, I will share 10 tips by this local Parisian to watch from these sneaky thieves so you don't let them ruin your holiday. I will also share how a pickpocket tried to steal from me once and how I handled the situation. Tip number one is the most important one. Always keep your bag across your body and in front of you. This way, you can keep an eye on it at all times. I always wear bags I can close with a zipper in the subway. I also choose bags that are very difficult to open. I always put the bag in front of me and hold it tightly closed under my arm. Invest in an anti-theft bag with lockable zippers and slash-proof materials. These bags make it much harder for pickpockets to access your valuable. Matt wears a bag like this, which he carries crossbody on his chest. Number two is equally as important. Don't keep anything valuable in your pockets. People who keep things in their pockets are the ideal target for thieves. When I lived in Japan, I used to see people walking around with a packed wallet of cash hanging from their jean pockets. It is very sad to say, but there are thieves in Paris that know this and target East Asian tourists because they know that these tourists tend to carry a lot of cash on them given how safe it is to do so at home. So don't put anything in your pockets, especially your wallet, your keys or cash. I usually only leave all tissues, so if the pickpockets want to grab that, they can go ahead. Number three, travel light and don't carry a whole lot of cash on you. Most places in Paris, such as restaurants, shops and museums, take credit cards. One time, one of my clients carried thousands of euros in cash in his wallet. Guess what happened to him? Yep, he got pickpocketed on the subway platform within a matter of minutes. Secondly, don't wear expensive jewelry such as watches, earrings, rings, etc. or any expensive brand bags, as this will make you a target for pickpockets. The subway platform is the primary hunting ground for pickpockets. They will stand in line pretending to wait for the train when in truth, they're looking for the next target. Once they've located their target, they will follow you in the train, stand behind you and grab all your valuables while you're not looking. Thirdly, don't look at your phone while riding the Parisian subway, especially if you're standing or sitting by the doors of the train. I have seen countless people get their phones stolen this way. Once the train arrives at the next station, the pickpocket will wait for the alarm announcing that the door of the train is about to close and grab your phone from your hand. They will then jump out of the train with your phone while the door of the train closes on you. You will not be able to run after them. For this reason, when I'm riding the subway in Paris, I try to stay away from the doors of the train if I want to look at my phone. As much as possible though, I try to keep my phone zipped inside my bag. So consider purchasing a phone case with a strap for added security. Number four, crowded places like metro stations and popular tourist attractions are prime spots for pickpockets. Pickpockets thrive in crowded areas, so when you use the subway during rush hour, there's a greater chance of being swindled. Pickpockets also strike subway stations that connect famous Parisian monuments. These stations are usually very crowded with tourists, who usually carry a lot of valuables and cash on them, so pickpockets go where the tourists go. Line 1 and 4 are two infamous examples of two pickpocket hotspots, with Gare du Nord, Les Halles, Tuileries, Bir Arkem and Anvers being riddled with them. Be particularly careful when traveling through these stations. Stay alert and keep your belongings close. Number five, with the spread of contactless payments, a new type of scam has emerged. 
Some new generation pickpockets will now bring an electronic payment terminal with them in their bag in the subway. So when you go buy your tickets or recharge your Navigo, they will queue behind you to observe where you're putting your credit card. They will then follow you in the subway, pass behind you and put the electronic payment machine against your bag where your credit card is located to take a contactless payment. Contactless payments don't require your PIN code, so thieves are able to steal hundreds of euros from unsuspecting victims in this way. Some thieves manage to earn 4,000 euros per day using this scam, helping them live a life of luxury on their hard-earned cash tourists save for their bucket list holiday in Paris. One way to avoid this is to protect your credit cards with an RFID blocking wallet. These wallets prevent thieves from scanning your credit card information. Number six, be cautious when being approached by strangers or people trying to distract you. They might be working together with accomplices to steal your belongings. Watch out for groups of teens and kids roaming about together in big subway stations like Châtelet and Gare du Nord. A lot of them belong to gangs or band together to take things from unsuspecting victims. A Parisian will never offer to help you or strike a conversation with you unless you ask them first. If somebody comes up to you in the street or in the subway and is acting strange, it's probably a tactic to distract you while their accomplice steals from you behind your back. Sadly, a lot of these bands of kids originate from East Europe, but make no mistake there, there's always an adult there chaperoning everything. Some will even go as far as learning some words in the language of their target victims to strike a conversation with them and distract them. So in short, if somebody comes up to you and attempts to distract you, just ignore them and keep walking. Number seven, don't keep all your cash in the same place. Split them and store them in different pockets or pouches. This way, if you do get pickpocketed, you won't lose everything. Number eight, Always stay alert and trust your instinct. If something or someone feels off, move to a safer area and keep an eye on your surroundings. If you feel like you're being followed, jump into a train just as the doors close. That way, the pickpocket cannot follow you. Be aware that there are police booths in each major station to report a crime if you've been a victim of one. Number nine, always be mindful near ticket booths. As I explained earlier, Pickpockets will stand in line behind you, waiting to see where you hide your belongings so they can steal them from you while you're busy buying tickets. This is also true at ATMs. You want to be extremely vigilant when you withdraw cash at ATMs in touristy areas. One time, I was withdrawing cash near the Louvre, and after I typed in my PIN code, a pickpocket came behind me and tried to push the buttons with the highest number of cash I could withdraw. In my case, he tried to type 200 euros. Luckily, I was with a friend who intervened. My friend pushed the pickpocket away. When my money came out at the ATM, the pickpocket tried again to swipe it from my hand. My friend intervened again and the boy ran away. The boy looked to be around 15 years old at the time, of, at the maximum. So beware when you throw cash at the ATM. Make sure no one is behind you. Which brings me to my last tip. Always have each other's backs. If you're traveling with a friend on the subway, make sure to keep an eye on them and ask your friend to keep an eye on your belongings as well. Pickpockets operate in silence because they are terrified of being caught. So having an ally there with you is your best chance at outsmarting them. If somebody comes up to you acting weird or if you see someone with a hand inside your bag, make a scene. Shout, yell, do whatever is necessary to scare them away. By making a fuss, you will draw attention to you and to the pickpocket. They are then highly likely to run away, leaving you in peace, safe with your hard-earned cash. In conclusion, to outsmart pickpockets, it's important to stay vigilant in crowded areas, touristy areas and subway stations. A lot of pickpockets are using modern technology to come up with new techniques to steal from you. That's where technology can be your friend and a plethora of new products are currently flooding the market to safeguard your prized possessions. In any case, make sure to keep your bag in front of you and your pockets empty. When touring around Paris, beware of people coming up to you out of the blue. Always keep an eye on your belongings and be especially vigilant in subway stations adjacent to major tourist attractions.
Paris is a beautiful city with so much to offer, so don't let a bunch of thieves ruin your dream vacation. Keep these tips in mind and you will have a great chance of outsmarting these delinquents. Stay safe and have a fantastic trip. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and comment on this video and subscribe for more travel insights into France and Japan. If you have any tips or personal experiences to share, I would love to hear them. So drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.